fish on. That didn't take long. Wow. This one hammered it. This week, we're part of the egg collection at Lac Bouchin in Quebec. I'm Bill Spicer. This is the new fly fisher. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Quebec Outfitters Federation Orvis Sporting Traditions Rio Products Superfly, fly fishing made easy This week, the new fly fisher crew is in beautiful Quebec at one of the top lodges in the province. Beauchene Wilderness Lodge is a magnificent, exclusive 205 square kilometer territory in the high hills of Quebec, with over three dozen lakes, each of which offers some of the best fishing in Canada. Seven species and a 50,000 acre territory provide great opportunities to introduce fishing to the first timers. Beauchene is especially proud that it launched the growing popularity in Quebec of catch and release. With special permits and the assistance of qualified fish biologists, Beauchene Wilderness Lodge identifies and implements spawning bed and fish habitat improvement measures. Much of the effort is aimed at the further propagation of the wonderful Taggart Lake native strain of brook trout. Biologist Mark Heading will be leading a team of volunteers through the egg collection. We feel very lucky to be invited to participate in this endeavor. This week we're collecting uh, brook trout uh, from Taggart Lake, uh, located at uh, Beauchene Wilderness Lodge. It's part of a long-term monitoring program for the brook trout population. It's a wild population of fish. Uh, part of the work involves individually measuring length and weight on the uh, spawning fish that are coming in this time of year. Uh, we microchip the fish uh, so that we can get unique information on individual fish as we recapture them from year to year. In some situations, we've captured brook trout four or five times over the course of a 10 year period. And that gives us precise information on annual growth, both in terms of weight and length. That helps us understand how healthy the population is. If it's not growing strong, you know there's a problem. If it's growing strong, you know your population is very healthy. Now right here, I have a bit of structure. And, and brook trout are no different than any other fish. They like structure. I got a, a, a dead head here or, or an old tree that's fallen down. And anytime I fish brook trout, structure is what they want. And I'm gonna try over there right now. Um, I was told there was some fish rising around there earlier in the week. So I'm hoping they're gonna still be there. There we go, fish on. Right by the log. Oh yeah, that didn't take long. Whoa, feels pretty good too. Gotta get it away from that log. Now I got an olive woolly bugger, well black and olive, it's uh, got some crystal in it. And these fish are right now feeding up heavily, getting ready to spawn and uh, they're feeding on leeches. Now hopefully the wind dies down a little bit later and we can get some uh, topwater action. But right now, 
This is this is great. And it is, it's a really decent brook trout. As good as anywhere I've ever been to, and I've been told by the biologists all the fish here are wild. So that's awesome. It's a hen, yeah. Okay. Decent, decent four pound fish anyways. Really, really nice. Lots of fun to catch, that's for sure. Aggressive. And, uh, just pop her right in there, perfect. Okay. Yeah. She's just full of eggs. Oh yeah. Perfect. Yep. Saw a fish rise over here, and I cast it towards it, and it's an active fish. Not very big, but it's an active fish. Oh, well, maybe a little bigger than I thought. Yeah. At this time of year, anytime you see any activity on top of the water, cast towards it, because that's a cruising fish that's eating. Oh, nicely colored. Oh yeah, really nicely colored male. Really nicely colored male. Yes, sir. Oh wow, this is a lovely, lovely fish. I am barbless which I generally am all the time anyways. You can fish barbless and be quite successful as long as you know how to fight a fish. Now, look at the colors on that. Isn't that lovely? The main lodge, the White House, was built in 1924 for a gentleman named uh, Lawrence Jones out of Kentucky, distiller from Kentucky. Um, the building uh, was uh, put up by Roland Zeitz, who spent actually 50 years of his life here until the mid 70s. Uh, back then it was a private club. Um, the Quebec government in the mid 70s deprivatized all those clubs and from there are born exclusive right territories and uh, Beauchesne Wilderness Lodge is one of them, actually formerly known as La Reserve Beauchesne. Uh, we just thought we'd update the name uh, to make it a bit more family friendly. Um, so uh, the lodge um, and the buildings around it uh, in La Reserve Beauchesne was actually born in 1987 uh, by um, uh, our original partner, uh, Dick Watrous out of Brantford, Ontario. Fish on. I started casting on the other side and gave that spot a rest and the fish came back in. So I just cast it again, took a fish. Like I say, I'm just fishing woolly buggers. I got an intermediate sinking line and the woolly bugger has a bead head on it. We go. Yeah. Slimy. I'm not going to handle it too long because we want to put it in a live cage. This is a hot fly I've been using. It's a cactus woolly bugger. Uh, we tie it with green uh, sparkly uh, cactus uh, chenille, it's called. And uh, they, I guess it's imitating the, the um, olive leeches that are in the lake and the, the fish are queuing in on them pretty heavy right now.
beautiful. I think I got another hen here, yeah. Lots of hens. Yeah, they're staging. Yep. Beautiful. got a procedure that's pretty hammered out with the volunteers that we have working with us this week. They've all been experienced working with fish and measuring fish and taking eggs from the fish. Uh, so we start off with uh, going into the site, uh, setting up our fish cages. These are large pens that we use for holding the fish. Uh, we have usually six to eight anglers uh, that are using barbless hooks and collecting uh, brook trout uh, either just offshore where the fish are staging to get into the spawning areas or we're collecting them off the spawning areas for the purpose of getting ripe fish, ripe females and ripe males. Once we've collected the fish for the day, we go through and process them for length, weight, sex, and also to determine whether they've got a microchip in them. If they've been previously microchipped, the adipose fin has been removed. If it's a new fish that we haven't seen before, we microchip it and then remove the adipose fin for future identification. It may be next year, year after, sometimes five years out. Once we've collected the fish, gone through the measurements, then we'll continue with uh, taking the uh, eggs and milts from fish that we're targeting for uh, incubation study. Uh, so we'll usually take eggs from four to five females, uh, fertilize, allow the eggs to water harden. That's where the eggs swell up. And then from that point, we set them up in the incubators the night that we've uh, fertilized. So the next step that we have for us uh, on for tonight is actually setting up the incubators. It's quite labor intensive uh, for setting those uh, units up. It'll take probably uh, two to three hours to go through and set up the incubators for a group of six to seven people. Tomorrow, we'll take those incubators out into the lake and they're set up on strings, which have an anchor, a string about uh, 20 feet long with a float on top, and then we stagger the incubators about 18 inches apart in the water column, close to the outlet of the lake. And the reason why we do that is because there's always flow leaving the lake. So if you put the incubation units close to the outlet of the lake, you know you're always gonna have flowing conditions and oxygen, good, good oxygen supply to the eggs as they develop over the course of the winter. If you watch how the fish develop over the course of that time period, it's not until late February that they actually hatch from the egg. And then as the lake starts warming up in April and May, they start growing very fast. And by the time we come back around Mother's Day, those fish are ready to be released and ready to start feeding on their own. I think we need more wind. There we go, fish on. Oh, feels like a good one too, yep. Yeah. I'm having myself a really good time this morning. Here with the ministry, collecting eggs for the spawning program and fishing for giant brook trout. And barbless hooks, just keep a tight line on them. That's all you got to do. You, you won't lose them. I know some don't like to use barbless, but unless you're keeping a fish. There we go. The eggs are still up in the skein, so we refer to that as green. So how long would it be before that would be ready? Oh, it could be three or four days. Okay. More Brook Trout action when we return. Beauchene offers a, 
a variety of types of accommodations. Um, we also have a small campground um, of about seven sites, um, very private and a beautiful location. We also have three outpost camps, which are on a more do-it-yourself uh, package, uh, we call the European plan. And then we have our main lodge accommodations, um, which are offered on American plans, so basically all inclusive with uh, meals and housekeeping. And within those American plan cabins, we, uh, we have different types, uh, smaller cabins up to very luxurious cabins. So basically there's some for any type of getaway. Now what's happening is the brook trout are staging up. They're coming in from the lake and they're staging up just in, just in the uh, deeper water out here where we have to wade out to about our, our waist and cast in deeper water. Later on, hopefully tomorrow, if we get some sunshine, they're going to move in and start spawning within uh, a couple of feet of shore. We should be able to get some fantastic photography then. Um, and right now we're collecting eggs and it's, it, this is a blast, I'm telling you. There we go. Wow. This is just unbelievable. This one feels decent. Yeah. Boy, they're certainly hammering it. They, uh, they're going for the kill. And I've always said that about brook trout. They, uh, they're killers. They're as, every bit of a, a killer as a pike. Just hold the net out, slide the fish over, and lift up. That's all you got to do. Very nice, brook trout. Man, I think. Awesome. This is a microchip. It's uh, about the size of a grain of rice. Uh, we're using it for uh, putting a unique uh, code inside the fish's cheek. And this allows us to track the uh, animal's growth in terms of weight as well as length over time. Basically, it just reflects back a uh, serial number. And then this is what we use for uh, scanning. So basically, you uh, wave the scanner over the microchip and it gives you a serial number back. Each fish has its own serial number. We've been doing this since uh, 2005 and got a few hundred brook trout marked here in uh, Taggart Lake. Fish on. Beautiful. That's a good fish. We'll be right back. Beauchesne is uh, set on a 50,000 acre territory uh, dotted with 40 lakes and holds uh, seven species of game fish. Amongst uh, those are uh, smallmouth bass, brook trout, walleye, northern pike, lake trout, whitefish, and even splake in some of our lakes. Since 1987, um, we came up with modified catch and release rules of, on all of our lakes, uh, with uh, smallmouth bass and native brook trout being on a mandatory catch and release basis, so strict catch and release for them. Uh, all other species have uh, keeper sizes. You can eat fish while you're here, but you cannot leave home with your limit of fish, which explains the unusual success rate that our anglers have here at Beauchesne.
There we go. Moved a little closer to the to the log. I see now as the sun gets a little higher, it's quite long. So they're hanging out down the end there right now. Fish the structure. Fish structure. Outstanding. I think we get a male this time. Yeah, we got a male this time. Nice, brightly colored male. Yes. This guy is completely orange. A quick show before we put it in the floating cage. Beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Male, brightly colored for the fall. This is awesome. That is one pretty fish. Well, it's that time again, and we must go. I'd like to thank Beauchene Wilderness Lodge for inviting us along on this educational trip. For more information on this show and others in our series, come visit us on the net at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Quebec Outfitters Federation, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Rio Products, Superfly, fly fishing made easy.